Okay. So, first off, they wanted us to talk about the different difficulties we had trying to upload our video and make it. So far, I have tried five or six different times, and over the past hour, you know, it just, it hasn't worked. So we're trying this again in a different way. Um, the first few times I tried it on Canvas, just through the video making they have. I, it worked well until the last part. I was able to make the video, name it, but then when I went to click the save button, that just didn't work. It wouldn't save the video onto the post. It would just sit there. So far, this one I have over here on my computer. It's been trying for about 20 minutes, but just hasn't done anything. I've let it keep trying while I've made my other videos and tried to upload them just to see if it would ever do anything. But after that, I moved to my phone, uploaded one there, but had technological difficulties submitting it and attaching it to Canvas. So I have then moved to my iPad which hopefully this will work better than all the other ones. Um, fingers crossed. So to start off, they wanted us to talk about this week's module, Planning for Retirement. This is admit admittedly something I haven't thought much about. Due to being a freshman at BYU, I haven't really had to worry about any long-term payments. I haven't needed to buy a house and I have a car that should last at least 10 years and it's completely paid off. So I've just had to deal with um, my monthly short term term payments. But it was a good thing that we went through this as it's something you need to think about and start saving up for early in your life. Um, of course, it will be a help once I get a full-time job that provides a 401k or some retirement planning account like that. And it was shocking to me how much or how long you had to save. I mean, um, at first you just think maybe five, ten years of retirement and you'd be good. But in reality, it's more like ten to thirty years. So you have to think about how much you actually spend and the inflation rates on that. And then you have to think about if you want to leave money to your kids or another one paying for your own funeral. I hadn't thought about that, but it is something that is very vital for you to plan for so you don't leave that financial burden on your children once you die. And then you also have to worry about if one significant other, your partner, lives longer than you do. Because they will still be retired and you will need to, together, save up enough for that other person to live past you. And maybe many years past you. And provide them enough money to live comfortably. So those were my main things that I got from or thought were interesting about this week's lesson and hopefully this video actually works.